The great thing about what we're showing at E3 is it's the first time people will have seen all of the improvements we're making for Mass Effect 2. I think the major thing that we've done for ME2 is that we've put all our changes out in front of the player. We're going to be showing a behind the closed doors demo. A lot of people are actually going to be able to put their hands on it and play it. This demo is going to really uh, show people uh, what we're trying to achieve with Mass Effect 2. It is instantly a better feeling, better playing game. You're going to be seeing big action, you're going to be seeing great digital acting, you're going to be seeing great story. The number one thing that we were shooting for in Mass Effect 2 was intensity. Well, weapons, I mean, we had quite a few in the first game. We're going to have a heavy weapon system. We need something that when you hit somebody, you kill them a thousand times. We made a ton of combat improvements in Mass Effect 2. Everything from the feel of combat to uh, the AI. Grabbing their arms. Blow parts of them off. Shoot out their legs from under them. They'll crawl, they'll jump over objects, and they'll, they'll hit the ground. It's a much more action, uh, high intensity kind of combat. You know, sometimes we're like, are you sure that's not too much? We wanted the story to be a lot more intense, a lot more uh, sense of risk. The tone, you know, it's, it's just a darker story. Develop much darker camera styles, color palettes, lighting techniques. And that just comes through in the writing, the tone, the music. You're going through some you know, really challenging areas. Somewhere of the Wild West. Uh, warlords, um, you know, crime gangs. We're going to go to some places that, you know, are fun to do, but nasty. You're actually going to see new alien species. We developed the models a lot better. They hold up to close-ups a lot better. We looked at the old game and the new lighting and the new game on characters, and it was night and day. It was just, it was beautiful. If you killed off one of the characters from the first game, you're not going to see them in the second game. So your choices actually carry through. What they're going to see is some pretty shocking stuff. Even beyond the issue of whether or not Commander Shepard is dead, we're going to tell you and show you what's going to happen in Mass Effect 2.